Ladies and gentlemen, the secret word tonight is name. N-A-M-E. Really? You bet your life. Elgin America, the creator of America's most beautiful compacts, smartest cigarette cases, magic action lighters, finest dresser sets, presents Groucho Marx in the Elgin American show, You Bet Your Life. The comedy quiz series produced and transcribed from Hollywood. And here's that sterling Elgin American, the one, the only... What a ridiculous name. Oh, that's me, Groucho Marx! Thank you, thank you. Well, here I am again with the $1,000 for one of our couples. George Fanneman, who's the tri- place to try for it? A pair of newlyweds, Groucho, selected by our studio audience just before we went on the air. And here they come now, Mr. and Mrs. Howard Scala. Welcome, youngsters, for Elgin American Compacts. And a happy new year. And if you say the secret word, you win a 16-millimeter Apollo Sound movie projector that sells for $129.50. It's a common word, something you always have with you. Newlyweds, eh? Well, you're the tallest newlyweds I ever saw. Uh, Howard uh, Scaler. Huh? Scaler, is that the way you pronounce it? That's right. What, what kind of name is that? Is that That's a uh, German name. What did he win? I'll tell you, Groucho. Huh? Well, I wish you would. Huh? All right. <laughs> they won an Apollo 16-millimeter projector. Which sells? For one hundred twenty-nine dollars fifty cents. That's can right. Show Hollywood movies or movies they take themselves. Well, yeah. now let, let's see. When I got uh, wiped out by that thing, you're the groom, I presume, huh? That's right. <laughs> yeah. how, how long have you been married? One, One week. week. That's two weeks between you. Huh? <laughs> well, uh, Arlene, Arlene, uh, where are you from, uh, Arlene? I'm from California. You're a very beautiful girl. You know that? Thank you. Did you know that, too? I certainly did. <laughs> uh, how tall are you? I'm exactly six feet in my stocking feet. And uh, how tall are you in your bare feet? <laughs> the same. You wear very thin stockings, eh? <laughs> how, how tall are you, uh, Botska? <laughs> six foot six and a half. Six foot six and a half, huh? Now, how's the weather up there? Well, not quite as smog as it is down there. <laughs> Reminds me of Bob uh, Sherwood, the playwright. He's an old friend of mine, and he's uh, six foot five and very thin. I said to him one day, I says, Bob, uh, what do you say to people when they ask you how the weather is up there? He says, I spit in their eye and tell them it's raining. (laughs) Uh, How much do you weigh, Howard? Oh, about uh, 305 pounds. Arlene, how did you meet this mighty Joe Young? I met him in the California Tip Toppers. What's the Tip Toppers? Well, it's a club for tall people where the, uh, well, the girls have to measure at least uh, six feet. Well, whose feet do they measure? <laughs> no, the, the girls uh, have to be at least uh, six feet tall and the fellows at least be uh, six foot four. You were both at the Tip Toppers Club? Uh, how, how did you meet them? We were washing dishes at a Tip Topper party. <laughs> I suppose if you'd have had an electric dishwasher there, you'd never met, huh? <laughs> Shows you how these modern inventions are ruining everything. <laughs> Where did you go on your honeymoon, Arlene? Mount McKinley? No. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. What, what do you do for a living, Howard? Uh, I play uh, left tackle for the Green Bay Packers professional football team. That's Imagine true. tackling this when it's running down the field. <laughs> I'd rather stop in front of the super chief. <laughs> are you as tall now as when you were single? Uh, that's, that's odd, really, because after they get married, lots of men find themselves very short. <laughs> well, in spite of the fact that you two giants make me feel pretty low, we're happy to have you here. Now, Fenneman, you have some perfect gifts, I presume, for these people. I'm sure Mrs. Scala will enjoy this lovely sterling silver compact with 14-carat gold engraving. An Elgin American, of course. And for Howard... Elgin American's hand-engraved sterling silver cigarette case that holds 20 regular or 16 king-size cigarettes. Thank you. It's very nice. Arlene, uh, where, where did you work before you were married? I still do. I work at the Carnation Milk Company Accounting. Oh, I see. You had nothing to do with the cows, huh? <laughs> No, I don't milk them, thank goodness. <laughs> that would be a pretty high cow for you to milk them. <laughs> 
Pauline, I've never kissed a real tall girl. Would, would you mind if I kissed you? Not at all, if Howard didn't mind. <laughs> How about it, uh, big boy? Well, it'd have to be over my dead body. <laughs> Well, that's the way you want it. Fenneman, get the gun, huh? <laughs> suppose, I, suppose I kiss her and you didn't know anything about it. Oh, well, I'd know about it. Well, I guess I'm going to have to trap you. Um, Howard, I'll bet you a buck. I'll bet you a buck I can kiss your wife and you won't know a thing about it. Bet? Okay, it's a bet. Would you mind moving aside there? <laughs> Just a moment. Well, you saw me kiss her, didn't you? That's right. I lose. Here's your buck, huh? <laughs> well, I've kidded you, too, about your height, but I, I'm sure you're tall enough to overlook everything. Now, in just one minute, you're going to work together as a team for $1,000. But right now, I want you to pay attention to this. There isn't a ticket for South Pacific. Kiss me, Kate, either. Cheer up. You can get compacts by the same name. Yes, Elgin American announces two new hit show compacts, South Pacific and Kiss Me Kate. South Pacific, with a pearl-studded sky, comes in a black satin case for $7.50, $10 with a jewel-mounted lipstick case. The Kiss Me Kate compact, at just $5.95, is attractively decorated with a pair of red lips and a whip to tame that shrew. There's a radio hit show compact, too, Queen for a Day, with a royalty design in jeweler's bronze, also $5.95. Be the first to carry and give these new hit show compacts. Buy them tomorrow. The smart new South Pacific, Queen for a Day, and Kiss Me Kate compacts by Elgin American. All right, let's see if you two will get a chance at the $1,000 question. You're going to play your bet your life. Fenneman, bring them up to date on the rules. All right, each of our three couples has $20. They've got as much of that 20 as they want on each of four questions. The couple that earns the most money gets a chance at the $1,000 question at the end of the show. Our other two couples are in a waiting room off stage, so they don't know what's going on out here. Here we go. Let's see how high I can build you $20. You selected songs with Baby in the title as your category. Is that right? That's right. All right. Now, here's your first question. You have $20. How much are you going to bet? Five. Jerry Fielding will supply the music. You give me the title. Play, Jerry. $25, Groucho. Remember, you're going for $1,000 tonight. How much of the uh, $25 will you try? Ten. Ten. What is the name of this song? Melancholy Baby. Melancholy Baby's on the nose. The party now, I have $35. All right, you got $35. Here's your third question. How much of the $35 are you going to try? Twenty. $20. Give me the title of this baby song. Okay, Jerry. $55. All right, you're climbing up. You got $55. How much of the $55 are you going to try? $30. $30. Here's your last chance to beat the other couples. You're going to bet uh, $30. What is the title of this song? Pretty Baby. Pretty Baby is right. And they wind up with $85. Thanks and Happy New Year from Elgin American Compacts. Now, stick around. You may still get a chance at the big question. Well, Groucho, the secret word is still name. Perhaps our next couple will say it. Just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected a car hop and a married man, and here they come. This is Evelyn Fredrickson and Mr. Larry Stearns. Meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to You Bet Your Life. Hello. 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 If one of you says the secret word, he wins a 16-millimeter Apollo Sound movie projector. It's a common word, something you always have with you. Uh, Evelyn uh, Fredrickson, is that right? That's right. You're the car hop, huh? Yes, I am. I knew it. My headlights started flashing the minute you walked in. <laughs> Where are you from, Miss uh, Fredrickson? Uh, I'm from Shannon's on Pico and Sepulveda. Shannon's Drive-In. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How are the hamburgers? Eh? They're terrific. Well, is there anything like the car hop? So, Mr. St uh, Steins? Larry Steins? Larry Steins. You're the husband? Yes, I am, sir. Mm -hmm. How long have you been married to, Evelyn? Oh, that, um, that isn't my wife. <laughs> well, don't come and run into me with your troubles. I... <laughs> are, are you married? Yes, I am. Do you have any kids? 
three and I think four for soon. When were you home last? Huh? How did you meet your wife? Well, uh, decided I'd take some photography at night school. Thought I'd learn something, maybe. And, uh... Well, don't be too despondent. Huh? And uh, I used to uh, go to photography with a friend of mine. Used to fool around in the dark room. He'd sock me, and I'd sock him. And well, well. How we... did you know who you were hitting in the dark? Well, I did, and I hit my wife that time, or she wasn't my wife then. And uh, that's where the trouble began. You hit your wife, and now you've got four kids. Huh? Not quite four yet. It's a very sad story. All right. yeah, it's cool. Evelyn, uh, what is a, a car hop? A car hop is a car waitress. You wait for cars, is that it? <laughs> well, why do they call you car hops? Uh, was your mother frightened by a kangaroo? No, it's because we hop from car to car. But why do drive-in restaurants uh, specialize in hiring beautiful girls? Because it draws more business. Nice-looking okay. car hops mean that uh, more business? Right, much more business. Well, if you mean business, I'll change my tactics. <laughs> Is it true that many girls become car hops in order to be noticed by movie producers? Yes, I believe that is true. Or fan, I'll bet there are more movie producers trying to get noticed by car hops. <laughs> Larry, what sort of work do you do? Uh... Well, I was teaching people how to drive. <laughs> no. How long did it last, Larry? A week and a half. How'd you lose your job? Well, I was teaching someone how to drive, and I got a ticket for giving the wrong signal. <laughs> my, my, my hunch is you've done a lot of teaching around this town. <laughs> Anything unusual uh, happen around your place? You mean beside the kids, or... You must have had an, an event for life. Uh, what's well, your most unusual story, Larry? Well, I, I had a lot of jobs. I never seemed to keep any of them too long. Well, if you keep putting out the wrong hand, I can understand why. The yeah, most unusual thing, I was selling vacuum cleaners for a little while. And uh, I, I sort of developed a system I thought was pretty smart. I'd leave the machine out in the car, the new machine, and... Go in and demonstrate with a with their old one because if you walk up to the house with a machine, they throw you out. And uh, it's when I lost my job because I was in the house demonstrating without a cleaner, and her husband came home and. <laughs> was he amused by this? Or... I didn't give him much chance to say or be amused at all. I, I thought I'd better leave. It was the motor running on your car? <laughs> well, we enjoyed having you here tonight. Now we have some ideal gifts for each of you. George, proceed with the honors. For Miss Fredrickson, pearls. Elgin American's beautiful simulated pearls. They're the finest pearls made by man. I'm sure you'll enjoy them. Thank you very much. And for Mr. Stearns, Elgin American's long, slim cigarette case in jeweler's bronze that looks like gold. That's swell. Now let's play you bet your life for $1,000. You run your $20 into more than the other couples, and you get a chance at the big question later. Now, Fenneman's offstage remind our listeners how much the first couple won. The timber topper newlyweds won $85. Here we go. Let's see how high you can build your $20. You select the dice expressions as your category. Now, here's your first question. You have $20. How much are you going to risk? She said $12. $12, all right. Snake Eyes is a throw of what number? Two. Two is right. <laughs> and they're on their way with $32. Rem, you're going for $1,000 tonight. How much of the $32 are you going to try? 25 Okay. Big Dick is a throw of what number? Ten. Ten is correct. <laughs> Now they have $57. Now you have $57. Now uh, here's your third question. How much are you going to bet? 
I like to bet it, it all. Bet it all. You want to bet it all? Okay, boxcars is a throw of what number? Oh, that's 12. 12 is correct. They're really climbing now. They have $114. All right, you're shooting away up. You got $114. And how much are you going to go for? You want to shoot it all? Shoot it all, Sam. Shoot it all. All right, it's no it's no more dangerous than going in a house without a vacuum cleaner. Here it is. <laughs> $114. Little Phoebe is a throw of what number? Five. Five is correct. And they wind up with a grand total of $228. Put it there, kid. Thanks to both of you and a happy new year from Elgin American Compacts. Now, in just one minute, our last couple will play You Bet Your Life, and then we know who gets the $1,000 question. But right now, listen to this. Listen. Those are waves of the Mediterranean caressing the shores of romantic Mallorca, where Elgin American found the simulated pearls of all time. Pearls flawless in quality, glowing with luster, perfectly matched. And now they're Elgin American pearls, exquisitely styled in ropes, chokers, earrings, bracelets too, distinctively clasped, superbly packaged in gift and jewel boxes. And these Pearls Supreme cost only $2 to 20 plus tax. They're sensational values. Buy them tomorrow for the elegance that only pearls of such rich quality can add to every costume you wear. And buy them for impressive gifts, to thank a hostess, for birthdays, anniversaries, every gift occasion. They're the simulated pearl beauties and values of all time. Elgin American Pearls. <laughs> Okay, and I will soon know who's going to earn the most money and get the $1,000 question. George, who's ahead so far? Well, the car hop and the married man are ahead with $228, and the uh, secret word is still name. I should say. We invited some college football players to the show tonight, and just before we went on the air, our studio audience selected Jess Swope. And his partner is a Hollywood chiropractor, Dr. Mar Elia. And here they come. Gentlemen, meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, kids, for Elgin American Compact. And a happy new year. And if one of you says the secret word, he wins a 16-millimeter Apollo Sound movie projector. It's a common word, something you always have with you. Uh, Jess, uh, you're the football player, huh? Yes, sir. A, so we have a surplus of football. We have a boy here from the Green Bay Packers. Here. Uh, how, how tall are you, Jess? Six foot three, sir. Well, you're only a baby, huh? <laughs> how old are you, Jess? Twenty-two years old, sir. Where are you from? Los Angeles. Are, are you married? No, sir. I guess I'm lucky. <laughs> Why aren't you married, Jess? I just haven't got much time for girls. How much time do you need? Huh? <laughs> what, what school do you attend? University of Southern California, sir. And you play football for USC? Yes, sir. What position do you play? Horizontal or perpendicular? <laughs> I play left offensive guard. Offensive guard? Yes, sir. Uh, have you tried to dab a perfume behind each other? <laughs> Tell me, what do you want to be after, after college? I mean, do you want to play professional football? No, sir. I, uh, I'm hoping to go to the Olympics in 1952. Well, I think you're smart and stay, stay where the money is. Stay in college football. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you're Dr. Sheik Amar uh, Elia? Is that, yes, sir. Is that right? Did That's I right. It correctly? Yeah. Uh, what kind of a name is that? That's uh, an Iranian or Persian name. Oh. Well, here we go again. You said name, and that's the secret word tonight. George, tell him what he wins. You win an Apollo 16-millimeter sound movie projector. With it, you can show movies you take yourself or Hollywood sound movies. Retail value, $129.50. Thank you. Are you, are you married, Doc? Yes, sir, I am. Uh, how did you meet your wife? I met my wife here in Hollywood while I was a professional man. I was invited to have a Persian meal at her home, and I found her to be a very good cook and what good looking, they... and so here I am. <laughs> what do they feed you, Persian ivy? Uh, <laughs> shish kebab. Shish kebab and pilau. Shish kebab and pilau. Well, I'm all right. How are you? <laughs> Tell me, uh, do Persian kittens really come from, uh, from Persia? Not necessarily. 
Uh, usually they come from Persian cats. <laughs> I tell the jokes around here. <laughs> to tell the jokes around. <laughs> How would you like it if I went over to your house and stole your poison rugs? <laughs> now, Ducky, uh, you don't mind if I call you Ducky, eh? No, sir. What did you want to be when you were a boy? I wanted to be a sheik like my father. Your father was a sheik? Don't tell me he was Rudolph Valentino. No, sir, he was not Rudolph Valentino. He was a real sheik. Oh, Errol Flynn, eh? <laughs> Now, Doc, I don't want to get nosy, but tell me, uh, have you, uh, have you got a harem? No, sir, I do not. It's because against the law. I realize that, but answer my question. <laughs> are there, are there still many harems in Persia? Uh, no, sir, there are not. They're very, it, it, it's against the law now. But there are a few places that they still would leg him. Well, see if you can get me a case of 20-year-old stuff right off the boat, will you? <laughs> were, uh, were harems always illegal, Doc? Uh, no, sir. Years ago, uh, harems were legal in Persia. A man could uh, have all the wives that he desired in order to get closer to his heaven. Get closer to what? To his heaven. <laughs> Why did they figure they were closer to heaven if they had a number of wives? You see, Mr. Marx, when uh, we figure in, in Persia, when you have only one wife, she might be a good cook, maybe ugly, or not good dancer, or a good singer. Mm -hmm. But if you have more than one wife, one will be good cook, one will be a good dancer, one will be a good singer. And this way you receive all the pleasures of life right here, and then you are closer to your heaven. <laughs> That's why a man would want more than one wife so he'd be closer to heaven? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's certainly getting to heaven the hard way. <laughs> now, now, Shiki, uh, in your profession, you must have had a few spine-tingling experiences. Can you, can you recall any incident in particular that you'd care to discuss? Well, one of them that was very embarrassing... When I first uh, got to this country, my first professional match, I was booked as the great wrestling sheik of Persia. As I entered into the ring, uh, I thought I'll show them how uh, Persian wrestlers are. And there we are trained to be very mannerly, very polite. So naturally I walked in, I bowed to the public, and I bowed to the referee, and then I bowed to the wrestler, and went back to my corner. When the bell rang again, I bowed to the public, and I bowed to the referee. <laughs> and uh, as I bowed to the wrestler, he let me have one right... So straight to the chin, I went back, and he let me have one in the stomach, and I bowed again, and that was the end of the match. Well, that'll teach you not to be polite in this country. Huh? It was a short match, huh? Very short. Next time, use a lighter. Well, you've been an interesting couple, and physically, I'll never be the same. Now, before we proceed, George, is something from our sponsor. For Jess, pearls. Elgin American's beautiful pearls. They're the finest pearls made by man. He can give them to his girlfriend, and I know she'll love them. Thanks very much. You bet you will. What have you got for Shiki over here? Elgin American's exclusive heart-shaped compact that's definitely different. It's jeweler's bronze that looks like gold. His wife will truly appreciate it. It's a good thing we're not doing this in Persia. You'd have to have seven of those, huh? <laughs> Okay, let's play your bet your life. If you beat our other two couples, you'll get a crack at the $1,000 question. I can't tell you how much they won, but George is off stage to remind our listeners. The newlyweds are still ahead with $85. Here we go. Let's see how high you can build you $20. You selected famous rivers as your category. Oh, yes, sir. All right. You've got $20. How much you want to try? Ten, sir. Here's your first question. Hoover Dam controls the waters of what great western river? Colorado. Colorado, Colorado is right. <laughs> Off your good start with thirty dollars. All right, now you got thirty dollars. Remember, you're going for a thousand dollars tonight. How much of the thirty are you going to try? Ten dollars, sir. Ten, ten dollar. All right. What is the name of the sacred Indian river of the Hindus? They bathe in its waters to be purified. I, I know it though. Not, not Nile. 
Take a guess. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, it's the Ganges. Ganges, yeah. I'll get mixed up. Well, that's a tough one. That's yeah. not No, I should know that. They now have $20, Groucho. Well, you only lost 10 that time. You still have $20. Now, here's your third question. How much of the 20 will you try? $10. $10. What is the name of the Northwestern River where the salmon spawn each year? The Grand Coulee Dam is on it. Columbia. The Columbia River. <laughs> And they're on their way again. They have $30. All right, you're coming around the stretch now. Here's your last chance to be the other couples. How much will you bet you got? 30 bucks. 20 $20. What is the name of the river immortalized by Mark Twain? It is called the Father of Waters. Uh. Mark Twain wrote a couple of books about it. Mississippi. Mississippi, you said it right as the bell rang. Give it all. <laughs> and they wind up with a grand total of $50. And that means that the car hop and the married man with $228 get the chance at the $1,000 question. Well, I'm sorry, but you did pretty well with that. Though. And now, a word from Myron Wallace. The name Elgin American means the very finest quality, designing, finish, and craftsmanship. The best value. In exquisite compacts, gorgeous simulated pearls, magnificent dresser sets, magic action lighters, wondrous lighter cases, distinguished cigarette cases, handsome military sets, fascinating musical humidors. Your favorite store has a complete assortment of the newest Elgin American styles right now. See them. And for your own proud use, for thrilling prestige gifts, always buy Elgin American. And here's the winning couple, Groucho, the car hop and the married man. Ready to try for a thousand bucks, eh? Good luck, and I'll give you 15 seconds to decide on a single answer between you, so talk it over thoroughly. Okay, here we go. You ready? In 1876, government troops were annihilated in the Battle of the Little Big Horn. What general was in command of the doomed forces? <laughs> Now, what is the answer you two have decided upon? The only one I can think of is... Custer. General Custer is right! <laughs> That's right, you win a thousand dollars. Well, you had the right answer, so you win a thousand dollars from Elgin American Compacts, and you also win two hundred and seventy dollars, seventy-eight dollars, or is it two hundred and twenty-eight? Two hundred and twenty-eight dollars. Well, a few bucks. You really cleaned up tonight. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you very much. The Elgin American Show, You Bet Your Life, is a John Goodell production, transcribed from Hollywood, directed by Bob Dwan and Bernie Smith. Music by Jerry Fielding. Remember, next week's big question pays $1,000. Be sure to tune in again next Wednesday night at the same time for Groucho Marx and You Bet Your Life. Well, this brings us to the end of three very pleasant years of association with Elgin American Compacts. And I'd like to thank them for their interest and cooperation in presenting our show. Next week, we'll have a new sponsor. So I'll say good night with this final reminder. Have you looked at your compact lately? Good night. <laughs>